after our very challenging but also just as worthwhile hike on Mount Mababu the other day, we drove to the city of Semarang. Semarang is not a very common tourist destination, but we were still very curious what would expect us there. Because we had learned that even in the most unexpected places, very good things can happen. And they did. We found an amazing couchsurfing host. Retno is a super nice person. She was open-minded, charming and just overall the perfect host. And she has a really nice home. Probably one of the nicest houses we were blessed to stay at during our travels. Then we went on a free walking tour through Semarang's Chinatown, to which Hua Yu, another contact we had made over couchsurfing, had invited us to. So we are here in Semarang on a walking tour. Osin is still tired from the trekking. He's not that happy right now. <laughs> and we are here with Hua Yu. She invited us to join this tour and accepted us on couchsurfing as well. To be there to be her guests and yeah instead of staying at her place we join her to this walking tour today yeah. <laughs> if come to Smara don't forget to join this uh, walking tour this Maria tour <laughs> Wayu works for Honda in Samarang as a public relations manager and she told us that they would offer support for vlogger and blogger who are traveling Indonesia on a Honda. This included servicing the bike and road assistance throughout Indonesia and completely free of charge. Now that was a real game changer. Wherever we are, we can contact her for our scooter if we have a problem with our scooter and we contact her and then she's gonna continue it to wherever we are in the city to help to help service our bike, that is really, really nice. Like, it's yeah, helping all a lot. Our, uh, friends, uh, Honda in Indo, Honda motorcycle. Uh, wow. From now on, we just had to give Wayu a call whenever our scooter needed fixing, and Honda would send a mechanic to wherever we were. Or she made an instant appointment at the closest branch for a full inspection. us to service our bike <laughs> I mean how good is that <laughs> yeah it's really nice for yeah. free? free 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 yeah free. and <laughs> it's appreciation for a vlogger yeah. <laughs> out of charge yeah. because they appreciate it's the so vlogger good. like us thank you so yeah. much <laughs> it's really nice they have appreciation for a vlogger yeah. vlogger yeah. wow <laughs> everyone should know this because it's really really good <laughs> yeah, yeah. The walking tour was a nice alternation to our previous travel activities and we learned a lot about the history and culture of the city. The tour guide was very engaged and explained everything in Indonesian at first and then did her best to repeat everything again in English. Just for me, since I was the only foreigner in the group. here. They make uh, the gate. The gate <laughs> is built, uh, was built for to keep the Chinese. They 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 built uh, they built, they built it by themselves to defense. to defense. Yeah. Like defense. yeah, yeah, to make them sec more secure from the chaos. Uh, yeah. So back in 1998, there was a um, apa there was a chaos. The riot uh, was a riot mm, during the after monetary crisis. Yes, macam itulah banyak impas ya. Gimana nih ngomongnya? Kayak gitu. I have no idea what's going on here, but there's some people trying to play music. Because 
before when the Chinese people before when the Chinese people doesn't know how to speak with the Dutch people, so they slip a little note inside the cake and give it to them. That's how they communicate before. Oh. <laughs> That's how it started. <laughs> you gotta make one fall. Maybe a little bit down. No, you so, can't take yeah. it. Like Number you got? Number 85. Oh, yeah. Number 85. Oh, yeah. Number 85. Oh, yeah. Number 85. Oh, yeah. Number yeah. This is the best. Okay. This is the the title, Liu Xiang uh, got, uh, I mean like, the, um, your dreams come true. It's actually a long ex uh, explanation here, it's about the house, it's good, it's about if you are talking yeah, about the house. Can we bring house. it home? Yeah. 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 It's like a souvenir. Oh, right. mm. You can keep it. You can keep it. You can, keep it. You can some, learn about it, study about it. Some people uh, burn it. At the end, the two of us concluded with a yummy meal. So what is it? Tontong cap rumeh. Both of you uh, always have a good fortune, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we call it rezeki anak soleh. <laughs> By the way, the tour guides are volunteers and the whole tour doesn't cost a dime. They organized night walking tours in the old town of Samarang as well which we unfortunately couldn't take part in this time, but we heard they are highly recommended. After that we took Samarang's famous walking street back to Rednoska, where vendors offer a variety of local and some maybe not so local specialties. destination that we absolutely didn't want to miss out on was the island of Karimunjawa. A tropical island off the shore of central Java. The ferries to get there leave from Chepara very early in the morning, so we decided to rather spend the night there than driving the 80 kilometers at night and with the pleasure of time breathing down our necks. Which was the right decision because like that we had all the time in the world to get there. So instead of simply following the Dal main road, we were free to explore the area and decided to take the more scenic route along the ocean. We passed rice paddies and fish farms, 
and came through a lot of small villages. Sometimes you felt a bit lost. <laughs> but it was definitely more interesting that way. Jepara is probably the capital for woodwork in Java. So if you buy some wooden furniture in Indonesia or import it from there, there's a good chance that it comes from here, even though you bought it in Bali for example. Three hours after leaving Semarang, we arrived at our next couchsurfing spot where our host Faiz was waiting for us. Faiz was really eager to improve his English, so we had a long conversation in which he would only speak in English, even when addressing us in. Okay. We drove the, the long way like, to the ocean, like, what was it, Demak? Demak. The map. The map. The map. Yeah. and then, I don't know, like small villages. You, you trust a bit of a hand? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I'm from Demak and... Uh, Good. Oh. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> it's not dirty, it's uh, clean, that's nice. Uh, the door cannot open because trap uh, on furniture stuff. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> See? See like this. You cannot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> because the cupboard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> so thick. So you do uh, wood carving? Or? Yeah, my father and I'm carving too, but <laughs> I'm carving. <laughs> yeah, you can take a rest. Then I'm tired too. <laughs> <laughs> Later he showed us his favorite beach to hang out in the afternoon and brought us to a Warung where we could try the local food. We're chilling at the beach in Jepara with our host. Hello! <laughs> and tomorrow we're gonna go to Karimunjawa. We need to wake up really early in the morning and take the slow ferry so we could take our scooter. But now we're just gonna chill here at this beach with a free music from other people who hang out here and bring their guitar. Um, really shocked kind of, but I don't know. Like people hanging out here in front of them, there's some trash, but I don't understand. Some trash. Some tr like a lot, a lot. <laughs> It's just like chilling, like normal people chilling, like ignoring all the trash. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of sad. Since we are in Jepara now, we want to try traditional food. It's called horo horo. We have no idea what it is, and I don't know what it tastes. <laughs> but we're gonna find out soon. <laughs> it's the traditional local dish of Jepara. This is how it looks like here. Thank <laughs> you. 
stupid jet. <laughs> when we woke up the next morning, Faiz had already been awake and insisted on bringing us to the harbor and making sure we would get to the ferry without any difficulties. He's a lovely guy with a big heart and he wouldn't have wanted to stay with anyone else. Like, like laying down on the water and then you shoot me with the drone. Maybe release some baby turtles. 